Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get a Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color emulator on your iDevice. It works with iPhones, iPads, and iPod Touches, and the best part is they don't have to be jailbroken. It also works on the latest firmware, being iOS 7, including different variations of iOS 7, such as 7.0.4 and 7.0.5 for select iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C models in non-US countries. So to begin, I'm just going to delete the app really quick to show you guys how to get it. Now, some of you may already have heard of it. It's called GBA for iOS. This is the second iteration. It's version 2.0. So in order to install it, first of all, we're going to need to set our date back before February 19th. As you can see, I have mine set to February 17th already. And in order to do that, just simply open the settings app, go to general and then date and time. Once you're there, uncheck set automatically if it's already checked. And then again, you have to set it back before February 19th. So I'm just going to select a random day. We're already at January 30th. That's good. It's fine. I'm going to exit out of the settings app now and open up Safari. You're going to navigate to GBA, the number four iOS app.com. So it's GBA for iOS app.com. I'll also have that link to down below. So once you navigate to the site, simply tap download GBA for iOS 2.0. It will take you to this screen just telling you that you need to set your date back. And then from there, you can tap download again. And then once you get a prompt to install it, simply tap install because they're actually distributing it as an in-house app through an iTunes enterprise developer account. So once you get the prompt, simply tap install. It'll say waiting and it'll go through the install process. Now, if you didn't set your date back to before February 19th, it won't install. It'll just appear as though it's in an install loop. Again, you will need to set the date back ahead of time. And if you can't get it installed the first time, simply tap on the icon and you'll need to delete it. Now, the same thing goes for when you reboot your iDevice, you will also have to set your date back to before February 19th, and then you can open it and then set it back to automatic. Let's open it here. It just gives you another prompt and that essentially goes over what I just mentioned so we can tap OK to that and I can go to the settings app now or whenever I want and I can set it back to automatic and then from there you will be able to open GBA for iOS at least until you reboot your device so let's open it now and as you can see we have a very basic screen we also have a settings menu here and I'm just going to go over some of the different options up at the top we have the ability to improve the performance and also adjust the frame rates we have the option for auto saving you can customize your skins here and I'll go over how to download additional skins in just a second and then you can control the controller opacity so when you bring it down it makes it more transparent when you bring it up it makes it more apparent so let's bring it down to about 20% and then you also have the option to configure external controller buttons you have the ability to sync your data via Dropbox you can check for software updates and other than that we just have credits so let's go ahead and tap done and then all you have to do to add a new GBA or GBC ROM is simply tap the plus button up in the right hand corner it'll automatically open coolrom.com from there you can search for different ROMs by tapping the search button up in the right hand corner or you can just download one of the top ROMs so like for instance right now I'm going to go to top 25 downloaded and we'll download Pokemon Emerald which is what I had in the beginning now make sure that you only download ROMs for games that you actually have purchased and then once you've navigated to your ROM listing scroll down and tap download now make sure you don't tap on one of the ads otherwise it won't work and then when you get a prompt again simply tap download you can choose what you want it to be saved as in your list of ROMs, I'm just going to go default, so Pokemon Emerald, and then you get a progress bar over in the upper left hand corner when it's downloading the zip. It'll extract it automatically, and then you simply have to tap on it and you'll be good to go. It'll automatically start the game. So it's very simple to get GBA and GBC ROMs through this emulator. I'm just going to skip through this. As you can see, we now have Pokemon on my iPad Air, and it doesn't matter if it's jailbroken or not. You can, again, use this with devices that aren't jailbroken you will just need to set your date back so here we go we have GBA for iOS 2.0 running on the iPad now I'm going to close out and briefly show you guys how to get additional skins so you're going to go to GBA for iOS skins.com now note there is not a second S 
after iOS. So they're using the S in iOS for skins as well. Now, once you navigate to this site, simply tap on download skins at the top, and then you can select whether you have an iPhone or an iPad. Now, because I'm on an iPad here, we're going to go with the iPad. And you have categories over here on the left-hand side. I noticed that not all of the iPad skins work, so I'm not really going to demo it. But if you have an iPhone or an iPod touch, the iPhone category works just fine. So you can select select your skins. Let's go ahead and just select a Pokemon skin here. And we're going to go with Charizard. And once it opens, you can download it by tapping the download button. And then from there, you simply tap open in GBA for iOS, and then it should be available in your skin section. Most of the iPhone skins work just fine. But again, the main point of this isn't exactly for the skins, it's for the GBA or GBC games. As you can see, it looks just fine with the default skin in landscape mode here on the iPad Air. All right, so I hope you guys liked this video. If you did and you want a chance to enter to win a $100 Amazon gift card, just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comments section. Once your comments have been posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos and cover jailbreak topics, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.